James Harden compared himself to Allen Iverson. I quote James Harden. He was on a Instagram Live. He was talking to AI, and he said, everything I'm going through right now is what Iverson went through, just a newer version. He was comparing himself to Allen Iverson. So my question for you is, does Harden have a point here? Well, I think for James Harden, the comparison he's trying to compare to AI is that he dealt with a lot of criticism against his game, against his ego, and I guess against his like his, his playoff performances. And I think for Harden, what he's trying he's trying to let everybody understand is that he's dealing with all that that hate and hatred against him. And people people believe that Harden is not not capable of leading the team to a championship. You know, many thought thought about that about AI. People didn't think he could lead them to a championship, but then 2001, he won the, it was his MVP year, and he went to the final, took them to the finals, and played against that powerhouse Lakers team. Kobe and he won, won one game. He won at least one game in that series, and I think that yep. was that was impressive against that Lakers team. But for James Harden, his his playoff performances compared to AI is not like it's not it's not good. It's not good in my opinion because I, I think. That he he's capable of leading his team. I mean, he averaged about what what seven almost seven assists a, per game and what six rebounds. He involved he's involved with the team, but his killer that killer S thing you really question that because who what if teams need you the most? And hear me out, he is a clutch player because I see him hit a lot of clutch shots. I see James Harden hit a lot of clutch shots, but in the postseason I haven't, and I think. He still got something to prove. And he's in his 11th season in the NBA. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. You say he a clutch player, but you haven't seen him hit clutch shots in the postseason. So how is he clutch? I cause look, I give I give you an example. Against the Golden State Warriors, he was the only one that was scoring for that team. And he carried that team to a victory. That was in the season. But for James Harden in his playoffs, I think his his problem is, is lack of leadership. It's just a lack of leadership towards this team. Like he has all the talent in the world, but the the leadership is not there. Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. So let me, let me. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. You almost. No, no, you got it, oh, man. Okay. Let me let me break this down for you. I break this down for you. Okay. Yeah. I understand where James Harden is coming from because I think what he's talking about is him and Allen Iverson's play style being similar from the standpoint of as a team you have to build your team around their skill set because Allen Iverson and James Harden are two of the most gifted scorers in NBA history. Make no yeah. mistake about it. James Harden and Allen Iverson can put the ball in the bucket. And they are great players with the basketball at being able to score. They can create their own shot off the dribble. They can also get to the rim and be creative around the rim and finish at the free throw line as well, make their free throw shots. James Harden is a better perimeter sh shooter than AI ever was. But AI was a fierce competitor. I mean, Allen Iverson in his career, 11-time All-Star, two-time All-Star Game MVP, 2000 NBA MVP, four-time scoring champion. He averaged 27 points per game clearance on 43% shooting in his career. And this was at – he was only six feet soaking wet. I mean, Allen Iverson yeah. was going in the paint and, 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 and being creative around trees and still putting up buckets. Him getting that 2000 Philadelphia 76ers team to the finals was an amazing accomplishment because that team had no business being in the same gym with Kobe and Shaq's Lakers. I mean, if you take Allen Iverson off that team, they're not even a playoff team. I mean, yeah. they're not. But listen, also, Allen Iverson, he changed the NBA culture as well, bringing that hip-hop swag to the league. Like, what I think Michael Vick did for the NFL, that's what Allen Iverson did for the NBA, bringing that hip-hop swag and wearing those big jerseys and bringing, wearing the chains to the press conferences. It was amazing what he brought to the table during his career but you look at James Harden on his career 2018 NBA MVP although I think LeBron James should have won MVP that year they robbed LeBron because he carried the Cleveland Cavaliers that season and then the following year last year Giannis won MVP I think James Harden should have won MVP last year so it, James Harden won MVP one year and I thought he should have lost it and the following year he lost it and I thought he should have won it eight-time all-star five-time NBA first team player he won an NBA six man of the year award I believe it was in 2012. You know, he averaged 25 points per game on his career on 44% shooting. Obviously, both of these players are tremendous scorers. But here's why I think they differ in that. And I think we're talking about perception. Allen Iverson was a straight killer on the court. 
straight killer, and he never apologized yeah. for it. I never saw a moment where I felt like Allen Iverson shrunk when the lights was at his brightest. He might have missed some shots, but I've never felt like Allen Iverson was shrinking or or he was just choking. I never, ever said, hey, I choked. He missed some shots, but that's not choking. James, yeah. Harden, James Harden, meanwhile, has had countless moments in his career where he's came up small in the NBA playoffs. Let me give you some of these situations and these circumstances where he came up small. I remember in the 2012 NBA Finals against LeBron James and the Miami Heat when Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook was on Oklahoma City Thunder. Kevin Durant showed up. He averaged close to 30 points per game in that NBA Finals. Russell Westbrook played pretty well as well. James Harden played terrible in that NBA Finals. Then I remember 2017 NBA playoffs. I know you're going to remember this, Clarence. Game six going up against the San Antonio Spurs without Kawhi Leonard. James Harden goes 2 of 11 shooting from the floor, just 10 points. He was a minus 28 on the floor. And I got one more for you. In the 2019 NBA playoffs against the Golden State Warriors without Kevin Durant. You remember Kevin Durant got injured in that series. Yeah. James Harden could not close the deal against the Warriors who didn't even have Kevin Durant. They had a chance to push the series, I think, back to seven games and back to Golden State. And they got beat down in the second half of game six in H-Town in James Harden's house. Steph Curry went ballistic in the second half. There has been countless moments in James Harden's career where he has came up small. I have never seen Allen Iverson come up small in the playoffs. Therefore, I think it's a difference when you're comparing these two players. Yeah. Yeah, before we move on, before we move on, that was a great, great speech from you, Mr. Larkins. Before we move on, everybody... Let's go follow Wise Guys on Facebook and Instagram. These guys know sports and Twitter, Wise Guys underscore 08. And we are still live on the World Wise Sports I'm, Radio Network. Now, did you wanna, hold on, Clarence. Hold on. I, did, did you, did you have anything else you, you want to say about this? Because I have one more thing. I have one more thing. But you what, got anything what's else? What's the last one thing? What's the last one thing, brother? I Jay, think sometimes when it comes to perception, NBA fans and, and media, they don't like the fact that James Harden, his play style, and how he's always trying to create fouls and get to the free throw line, and he wants the refs to assist him and being able to get his points. I don't think fans necessarily like his play style. Meanwhile, Allen Iverson, he came right at you. AI coming at yeah. you. 20, downhill, yeah. 24 7, all 48 minutes of the game, AI was coming at you full speed. He, he, he didn't let up. I think fans and NBA mem media members. They, they they favor AI more over James Harden when it comes to perception because AI came into 24-7 compared to James Harden, who's always looking for a foul and looking to get to the free throw line and look for some assistance from the from the referees. To that, you say what? You agree with that or disagree? Yeah, I think for James Harden, he just he don't have that killer instinct that AI had that he brought to the table. And right. That's right. something that he needs to prove this season if, if he can – that he got that killer instinct, he can lead this Rockets team. 